Shalom, all praises due to Yahawah, Bahashem, Yahawah Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash, the bonus of the elect apostles, bishops, elders of Great Millstone, every well. Shalom to like I get the end of work, selling the truth and not the vain glory in season, out of season. All right, just going to be quick. Uh, you know, it's very, you know, it's, it's, it's written in the Bible. You know, it's written in the Holy Bible. You know, um, you know, this was, uh, this was written, you know, by John, John the Revelator. Okay. All right. And, uh, it tells you right here. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Now we all have ears on the side of our heads. Okay. And um, it means the understanding. That's what it means. Because we all have ears and we do hear. But do we have the understanding? Okay. And, you know, you have a lot of people, uh, Vocab Malone, you know, he steadily you know, fighting against the word of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai because he's set up to. He's an agent set up to fight against the men of the Lord, man. The apostles, uh, uh, bishops, elders, and brothers, you know, that's in this truth. Okay. All right. And um, you know, you have others, you know, amongst so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and that fight against this this truth as well. You know, in these various churches, these Baptist churches, you know, whatever church they go to, whatever churches they set up. Okay. You know, and, um, you know, it's mainly Esau, which is a so-called white man and two thirds of so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Okay. So do you have the understanding, you know, do you have the understanding of what this, this scripture says? Okay. All right. This is Revelations 13, Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity. Let's highlight that. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now, we know Esau's blessing, the so-called white man's blessing, is the sword, right? Everything that he got, everything that he stole to get, okay, Esau being the so-called white man. Esau is the so-called white man's biblical name, okay? Well, it's one of his biblical names, but it's the name that he was born with, okay? He was, the so-called white man was named with, the so-called white man was born and is the name that was given to him by uh, Isaac and Rebecca, the name that was given to him was Esau. Okay. In the Hebrew is Aishashua and the Holy Tongue. Wasted away is he. Why? Because he has no pigmentation. He has no melanin. He's translucent. Like the apostle Tahar likes to say, he's see-through. Okay. He has no pigmentation. Okay. So his blood shows forth through his skin. Okay. That's why he's called also Edom, which means red. In the Hebrew, Adawam, okay, which means red. He's the red people, okay? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Now the so-called white man led the nation of Israel into captivity, the whole 12 tribes, okay? Now you may say, uh, what about the Chinese and China, uh, uh, what are you doing to the weaker people? Well, you know, there's Israelites amongst all the nations of the world. Okay. You know, so <laughs> the heathen nations going to have to pay for that. To the Israelites, that's amongst the other heathen nations. Because the scriptures say that we were going to be scattered abroad. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans were scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth. Okay. To the four corners of the earth. But... Who, what does it, who is this scripture? What does it matter to? Who does Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai 
going to deliver. He's going to deliver you Israelites, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He that leadeth, whoa, one-third of you, two-thirds of you, you know, you're going, you're going to be put to death, but you're going to come back in the kingdom and live righteously in the kingdom of heaven and, and enjoy the blessings of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai in the kingdom of heaven. You know, the, the two-thirds Israelites that come back through the one-third, but the heathen nations are going into slavery. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the so-called white man led the 12 tribes, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans into captivity. So he's going to go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Okay. Now, you know, Esau's blessing, the so-called white man's blessing was, is the sword. You know, so he used the sword to put the nation into 12 tribes in slavery. Okay. And to steal their land. Okay. All right, and to murder them, to shed blood. Okay. All right. So guess what? The sword gonna come back on him. Okay. Let's go to it. Let's go to it Psalms 149. Psalm 149, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Psalms 149. Okay, it says, uh, yeah, I think this is it. I think it's Psalms 1. Yep. Psalms 149, and I'll start at, I'll start at uh, 6. Psalms 149 <clears throat> and 6. <clears throat> it says, let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. So we're literally going to have a physical two-edged sword. Okay. You know, it says to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Now the so-called white man is a heathen. Okay. Along with the rest of the other heathen nations, uh, you know, your Arabs, so-called Africans, so-called East Indians, <clears throat> you know, and uh, so forth, so-called Chinese, Japanese, Syrians, Assyrians, you know, uh, you Polynesians, you know, okay? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, because that's what they did to our kings, you know? Back in the ancient world and and now them kings still come back. Those those Israelites that were kings, they're still coming back in society today. They're reborn, they're reincarnated. Okay. Even though they're not in their rulership, but but they're still kings. Okay. And we're gonna bind their kings. Okay, we're gonna bind the kings of Esau, the so-called white men, and all the other heathen nations to bind their kings with chains. And they're nobles with fetters of iron. So that means they're going to go into slavery, man. Because you put chains on somebody. Uh, yeah, that's that's your slave, man. Okay. All right. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written in the Bible, in the prophecies. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye, Yahweh. Just praise you the Lord there, but we know that his that the most high's name is Yahweh. Okay. Okay. So yeah, man. So and you know uh, what the scripture say? A, a, a sword is, is sharpened. A, a sword is sharpened. It's it's being furbished. Furbished. All right. Let's get that right quick. Because there's more, there's more to the sword. There's more to Esau's sword than just a um uh, actual metal sword or the modern day sword, which is a gun, you know, it's <laughs> biological warfare, you know, these diseases, you know, the, um, uh, magic juice. Okay. All right. You know, poison in the air, making GMO foods, genetically modified organisms. 
That's what GMO stands for. You know, putting um, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in the ghettos and the slums. You know, uh, putting drugs in the so-called uh, Latino and Native American and Black communities. Okay, all right. So just, hey man, Esau got the sword. That's his blessing, man. Chemical warfare. You know, all these chemicals that's all around us, man. You know, the, the, the plastic bottles with the estrogen in it to make men feminine. And look, man, Esau got this more to it to, to, to Esau's sword, man. But he's going to do a lot of death with that sword. He's going to shed a lot of blood with that sword, man. You know, Esau got got the sword, man. He, he, he has these weapons, man. Okay. He has he all kind of futuristic weapons, man. Okay. You got uh, guns that, that shoot a million bullets. <laughs> Per minute, you know, laser weapons, man. He's, he's, he's going to bring a lot of death. Okay. So let's just get that right quick. All right. Okay. Ezekiel 21. Is Ezekiel 21 and 9, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Uh, yep. Ezekiel 21 and 9. Okay. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh, Say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbish. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. You see? You see? So... That's Esau, man. That's that. That's what the so-called white man, he's sharpening his sword, man. You know, which is these, uh, you know, which is, which is all the, uh, the, um, these, uh, <laughs> how can I say it? <laughs> the, uh, game changer. Okay. All right. It's a lot. It's a lot. 21 and 9. 21 and 9. Yeah, I kind of touched the, the thing. The, uh, the screen. You know? You're seeing the game changer. You know, we all know what it is. You know, the crown bit. Oh, we know what it is. You know? We know exactly what it is, man. You know? That's, that's a weapon, man. Used to what? Murder people, man. You know? You know, these GMO foods, you know, these genetically modified organisms, the food that, that poisons your body, all these chemicals that Esau has and everything, man, that gives you cancer. And then also the physical sword, man. You know, what's the modern day physical sword? These these weapons, these guns, man, that they're using to uh, shoot down so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. You know. I mean, you know, it's going to be a lot of death, like the Apostle Tahar's, I mean, like, like Apostle Gabar said in a Passover class, is that he shall be as, he shall be as, like a madman sparing none. They shall be as madmen sparing none, man. So it's going to be all type of weapons that, guns that, man, we ain't never even seen before, man. You know, that he's going to use, man, to slay a, a lot of people. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Well, then he shall be as madmen, sparing none. So, so the wicked elite, man, they, they're going to be given an order to, to slaughter a whole lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Yeah, but he's going to be put to death with the sword. He's going to be chopped up with the sword, man. Okay? So, you know, that's the future prophecy, man. That's So if you have the ears... To hear, meaning if you have the understanding. Okay? So let me go back to it. You know? Uh, excuse me. Re Revelation 13. And I started. 10. Okay? Revelation 13. And 10, 
He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the so-called white man is going to go into captivity under the nation of Israel, under you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He's going into slavery under you. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Okay, he's going to, he's, he did, he killed us with the sword back in, during the time of the Greeks, during the time of the Roman Empire. Hell, during the time when uh, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai led us out of the land of Egypt. Who was the first to come up against us? Those Amalekites. And we know who the Amalekites are. They're the Khazars, which are those small hats. You, you know, you know the guys that wear the small hats. Okay. All right. They were murdering our people on the way when we was going through the wilderness, man. You know, and they're doing it now. During the time of slavery. You know, the um 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, <laughs> all the way up to the 2000s, man. You know? All the way up to so-called 2022, they're going to be using a sword on our people, man. And they have our people captive in captivity. And they don't want to let you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans go. But Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver his captives. Deliver his people. Deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, which are the elected you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? So, uh, you know, I hope you brothers and sisters have been edified. Oh, let me finish reading it. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now, the saints are the Israelites, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And with that, hope you've been edified. Shalom.